recent number one artist in Texas, and we're definitely going to talk about that in depth because, man, if it could, it couldn't have happened to a nicer person and more busy person. She works her absolute tail off in this, and uh, so how are you taking everything and all this stuff that's happening with you right now? Oh my gosh, I am I am loving every single minute of it. I mean, I have I've been working my tail off for several years now, and. Uh, I just feel like last year and this year things have um, things have just really uh, taken off um, in my career, and I have a really great team behind me, um, and it's it's just been it's been going amazing. I'm I'm excited, and I'm just hanging on tight because everything's just kind of taken off so fast. So I'm I'm loving it. So what's different? What happened? Like what what moment can you look back and be like, you know what? That's where things started to really start to click. Um. I guess I would probably have to say, like, whenever I met um, the owners of uh, Get Joe Records, I was actually opening for Billy Bob Thornton in Lindell, Texas, a couple years ago. Um, and they heard me and fell in love with my voice. And we emailed back and forth a little bit. And they're like, I can't promise you, you know, anything, but we would love to, you know, try and help you if you can. I can get you in front of the right people. Um, and they did. They they put me in front of Kent Wells, which is Dolly Parton's producer in Nashville. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and I had to kind of do like a audition type thing. Like I, you know, was sitting in his recording studio, just you know, on the couch there. Um, and I had to play um, like you know five or six songs. Um, I did you know like a verse and a chorus of several different songs. And and uh, and he and he loved me. He loved my voice. And he's like. You can take, because at that time they were, I played a couple originals, but they were mainly covers. And he's like, you can pretty much take any cover and, and you know, make it sound better than the original artist. And he's like, I, I love that. I love how you made it your own. Um, and so it, it worked out and we've been recording and I have my first ever country album coming out this August. Um, and we've got, you know, 10 songs ready to go to radio. Like every single one of these songs we're going to try to put out to radio as fast as we can. So um, it's been amazing. I think that's really kind of been the turning point. It took a little bit uh, to get going whenever I first, you know, signed with them with, with the with the record deal that I had. Um, we had to wait a little bit because Dolly um, was recording her rock album. Yeah. Um, so my producer was very busy for almost a year. Um, so I had to just be patient and wait and for people that know me, they know that I'm not patient, but but it's uh, Dolly I Parton. How to be patient. Like, yeah, but it's Dolly yeah. Parton. <laughs> exactly. Like I will wait any day for her. So, right, exactly. Uh, it worked right. out really great. So yeah, I so, think that was probably the the biggest turning point right now.